we uh, uh, used MRI a long time ago for staging, uh, seminal vesicle invasion, could, a nerve sparing, things like that. We also did some interesting things um, where we would, you know, at that time there was this trend to give LHRH agonists to people that were diagnosed with prostate cancer regardless of their uh, uh, Gleason grade or stage. But so we did some studies with giving a, a agonist, and you actually see testosterone go up. And so we would do MRIs before and after to see if we could see any change because of a flare of the tumor. And in fact, in a small series, we did see a little bit. But we've come a long way since then. Um, wh when would you do an MRI? Let's assume somebody hasn't had one. Uh, that you're concerned that they might, you know, they, they're, they're not a Gleason 3, 4 right in the center. Uh, maybe they're an 8 near the, in the seminal vesicles or near the apex. Um, so when would you do an MRI? What do you expect to get out of it? And another question is, how long do you wait after a biopsy to do an MRI? So you, you talk about two types of MRI. Um, actually two indications of MRI. The, the, f the first indication is detection. You want to detect a significant cancer. That's what we talked about. Now we move into staging where you want to use the anatomic information to predict the extracapsular extension of a tumor. Um, of course, we want to combine it. One stop shop, one MRI for both because two MRIs is too expensive. But, but now let's just only talk about the capacity of MRI to predict extracapsular disease. We are not bad, but we are not very good, and we cannot depict microscopic extension. That's impossible. So how are we going to use MRI then when you want to do surgery, a nerve sparing surgery. I think that the best way to go for is not a yes or a no with capsular extension, it's yes capsular extension, no, when everything is clear. And you have some patients in between. There is a tumor which is abutting the capsule but not really extra capsular disease, there are some bulging, and you need to put it in your report or discuss it with your urologist. At the side of the neurovascular bundle, there is no space between the tumor and the outside of the prostate, so be careful. And, of course, the urologist, based on that image, needs to make the decision what to do. Uh, if the tumor is just located in the transition zone, of course, MRI is not of that much help when the tumor has already been diagnosed because the extracapsular extension is, is quite unlikely. So, so only tumors who are at the capsule of the prostate, preferably at the posterior part, so the, tran the, the peripheral zone and not the transition zone, uh, those are the ones where a good MRI may help. Then the second question, how long should you wait after biopsy to make a staging MRI? To make a staging MRI, you need to get rid of the hemorrhage, the acute phase where there is an inflammatory reaction of the tissue, because that mimics extracapsular disease and you may overcall. So that's the reason that you have to wait until the inflammatory process has gone away. That's about roughly two to three weeks. Uh, and there is, of course, the problem that you do not want to wait too long with your therapy. Most patients, they want to have surgery. Once the decision has made, they want to have surgery tomorrow. And they don't want to wait for two weeks for the MRI. So there is a conflict. For the detection of a tumor, so going back to the first indication of MRI, you do not need to wait. Because if you've had a biopsy, which was negative, and that's the reason that you do an MRI, you want to detect a tumor. The tumor is not likely to be at the area where there's hemorrhage. And furthermore, hemorrhage on the ADC, so on the diffusion image, doesn't have a black hole. It's not restricted. There is some motion of water molecules. It's not bright, it's, but it's also not black. And we are able to discriminate blood from cancer, from significant cancer. So for detecting a tumor, you don't have to wait. Wow, I've for learned. For staging, two to three weeks. So 
Yeah, I've learned something. So, uh, you know, we always tell patients to wait four to six weeks. So if somebody has a mm -hmm. negative biopsy and you want, to, you want to get an MRI to go forward, you don't wait. You don't wait. True. That, that's an amazing yeah. uh, information for our yeah, that's, audience. There's even, even a, a feature described which, which where you see blood is br where the blood is bright on the T1 weighted image and where you see within the blood the tumor as, as, a, as a sparing area where, where there is a round structure which is not white. So it's the, the blood actually is a contrast around the tumor.